Now that I've created my Turnitin assignment, I'm going to want to edit my Turnitin assignment settings. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is get it back into my Turnitin assignment. If you're not in your Turnitin assignment, you can get there inside of Canvas by clicking on Assignments and then selecting the Turnitin assignment that you have made. So I made this draft for paper one earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to load up here in just a second. And then I'm going to go to the Turnitin Assignment Settings. And those are the settings that are right here, right next to the Assignment Inbox. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Settings. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And if you remember from the previous video, I had made my assignment inside of Canvas to be 20 grades. But here inside of the Turnitin Settings, they're listing 100. So I'm going to need to change that to correspond with what I had originally set inside of Canvas, which was 20 points. And then the due date is also incorrect. Turnitin defaults to one week from the activation. That, that's the default due date for any Turnitin assignment. But in this instance, it's incorrect, so I'm going to need to change that. I'm going to click on the calendar icon just to the left of the due date. And I'm going to pick the day that I want it to be due, and then the hour that I want it to be due, and then the minute in the hour that I want it due. All right? Now my due date's done. Now I need to do the same thing for the feedback release date. If you choose to grade and annotate your Turnitin assignments within Turnitin, then you're probably going to want to adjust your feedback release date too. This is the date in which students will be able to see any feedback that you may have. And depending on the type of assignment, you may want to change or alter that date. In my case, though, I'm going to want my due date to be about a week or not my due date, I apologize, my feedback release date to be about a week after my due date. Again, select the day, select the hour, and then select the minute in the hour. And those are the main settings that you're going to need to set. Next, I'm going to cover these optional settings here. So I'm going to click on optional settings. I can choose if I want to allow late submissions, what the originality score is going to compare the student's submission to, and then this option right down here, originality, report generation, and resubmissions. This is where I can decide if I want to allow my students to resubmit their papers for this assignment. So if I click on that drop down menu, I have three different options that allows the originality report to be generated immediately and not allow students to resubmit. The middle one is to generate those originality reports immediately and allow the students to resubmit until the due date. And then the final one is only generate that originality report at the due date and allow them to resubmit. In my case, since this is a draft, I want to generate that originality report after each draft, but I also want them to be able to resubmit. So I'm going to choose the middle one there. I can choose what items are excluded in the originality report, bibliographic data, small bits of text, things like that. Do I want to let the students see the originality report, yes or no? And then we have submissions to this assignment will be stored in. So by default, it's going to get stored and uploaded into the Northwestern paper repository. But if this is just a draft and I don't want a copy of that to be stored up to the repository for future papers to be checked against, then I would just choose do not store the submitted papers. We have a couple of additional, op additional options for rubrics or peer marks or grammar checking. And then finally, you have this bottom option here. Would you like to save these options as your default for future assignments? So if you find yourself coming in here a lot and setting a lot of these settings, to constantly be the same, then you may want to choose to make them your default. I'm not going to make them my default here right now. Instead, I'm going to click Submit to save the changes that I made. Whether or not I've made any optional changes, if I have made any changes in the settings, I'm going to want to make sure I submit them. I'm going to click on Submit. And there we go, we get back to our assignment inbox. I'm going to click back on Settings though real fast to show you that those settings have stuck. So we can see my grade is correct, my start date, my due date, and my feedback release dates are all the dates that I had set. So it looks like we're good to go. And now my assignment's ready for my students to see. So I'm just going to come back into assignments over here in the left-hand side of my Canvas course navigation. And I'm going to make sure that my Turnitin assignment is published. And I can see that it's not published right now because it's grayed out. 
And then the little cloud doesn't have a green check mark signifying that it's published. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over that gray cloud and click on it. Turns green, I got the check mark. Now my paper is published. My students will be able to start submitting to turn it in for anti plagiarism checking.